Hello and welcome to quite a quick tutorial. Um, this is going to be how to. Sh this is going to be a tutorial showing you how to basically set it to daytime all the time, and the weather to clear constantly as well. So before you can use these, which are cl command blocks, oh, I'm tripping up over all my words. But basically, you want to say um, give I'm Seb S six one six, and then it's one three seven, I think, and then one or. I'm in creative so I only need one, there we go now I have two, you can see here, command blocks. You want to place them and then you want to right click and then you can type in your command, you don't need the forward dash like you do if you're giving a command from um, chat. Um, so before you can use it like this, so you can have, here I've got two set up and I've got set time to zero and I've got weather clear. So if I just flick the switch and then flick it back, as you can see here, the weather is clear and fine and this works if I say... Uh, weather, rain, I'm like oh no it's raining, there we go, not anymore, although it takes a while to clear, oh. so what I've done here, I've got a couple of other things to show as well very very quickly, um, I've set up a light detector, so this detects how much daylight there basically is, I'm not sure how it works with other light, I haven't really had much time to play around with it, this is the first thing I've done, because on our creative world it rains a lot, which is really annoying, so here, I've had to play around this with this lights, because here the early sun only gets, because this powers depending on how much daylight, so you see it's only powered to here right now, and then if we say uh, time set 6000, it's going to power even more. So what I've done here is I've reversed the circuit to this and then if I connect this back up as you can see here once this drops below a certain light level this block will become unpowered. This redstone torch will turn back on and then I've got these. I've got this set to 6000 and this set to weather clear. So if we say um, go I had to play around with this a lot because um, obviously the sun is brighter at midday so this should work yeah there we go so it's briefly done that and then this has set the time back to pretty much midday and also the weather to clear so this also works if we go time set night there we go it's just done it automatically um, this is going to be really useful for me because I'm building in a creative world and I like it to be day and also I like it to be um, the weather to be clear. If I get rid of that though, I wonder if I whoops, if I just constantly power these, yeah, and I can go set time night. Wait. Oh, time set. I always do that the wrong way around. Night. Yeah. So by constantly powering them it doesn't quite work. You have to it's like once the power hits them it only works that time so I'm going to need it to be night for this to work so um, these two things are red these are lights that are activated by the daytime they activate at night so here if I get rid of one side of this this is really simple and I've kind of copied this off someone's video but um, this is an example so you just got a light detector on top which powers the piston which then powers this redstone. This will only work if it gets really dark though. So if we say set time night, no time set, I'm an idiot. Time set night. It's not working yet. It's still powered. You could in theory like I've done here, this one will turn on first because it has shorter to go. I could leave that to, I can leave that to run? Uh, no, I can't really be bothered. But um, you can see this has slightly further to travel so this will stop reaching the piston first. This one again is quite simple if I break out next to the side of it, there we go, that one's worked, that wasn't me doing it, um, so this one's turned on, this one hasn't yet, but all I've done here is I've got the light going down, this is just another example, one you can have in the floor, I think this would be really interesting, you can play around with it, so it comes on maybe when it rains, or only when it's a thunderstorm, or the combination between like raining and it being sort of evening, I don't really know, and then as the light level continues to drop, this will eventually turn on, and obviously if I place this closer, or like further away. I could place one there but then it would power that um, always when it's night. Oh, If we just do say, oh there we go, it's just here, I was just going to add some time. So that's done that. Now if I flick this back over, as you can see they've both turned off. So these are some things you can do with your uh, Minecraft world. 
Um, this is, I guess you could use these whenever, and then this is more for sort of creative. Or an adventure map, you could have it, also command blocks aren't really that well known, so if you're building an adventure map, you could have your command blocks, so when uh, the whoever's playing it reaches a certain area, they hit a pressure plate and it turns um, everything to night, or it turns it to day, I don't know, whatever you want really, and then these, I'm probably going to end up putting these around my creative city, this, well not this specifically, but this sort of thing, because they look quite nice. Um, so that's that again. I'll probably maybe do some more tutorials if anything else I think of. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.